walking down. What's up, everybody? Ooh, gonna have another fun day. Want to put in some work in the surf over here at Redondo Beach. So I'm just walking down. What well, it looks like it's low tide. I'm so proud. The missus, the wifey. She can tell it's low tide and high tide now. At first she was just like, man, the water's a lot further back. <laughs> she was like getting the, the understanding, but now she gets it. She over here checking the surf before I even get down here. But man, it's like eight o'clock right now. The surf is up though. The surf is up guys. See all this going down over here. And that can be a beautiful and a bad thing. The beautiful thing is, there's a lot of surf perch that come in the area and ride the surf in to get the sand crabs and the bait fish that get uh, beaten up by the waves. The bad thing about it is, there is nothing but surfers over here. So, we just gotta make something work. Alright, worst case, we're gonna be on the jetty, rock fishing. So guys, I just lost my favorite lure. That is my halibut slayer. And it wasn't even due to a fish or even getting caught on seaweed. I lost it by casting it out. Oh well. Uh, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know how it happened. My, my reel, it didn't lock up or anything like that. It just popped off with this snap and I just see it just soaring it was going a lot further than it normally would and I was like man so RIP to my lucky craft flash minnow 110 I guess I gotta go spend another 12 to 18 bucks for one now I'm gonna throw on another one wish me luck <laughs> So now I'm about to try Lucky Craft 110 Flash Minnow um, SP Smelt version. So I just lost my all white. Now I'm gonna go for this one right here. Hopefully I can catch something on this one. I had no luck so far with catching anything on this one. So especially in this area, I guess the fish they like you know different fish. But let's see if we can catch something. So guys, I just put up the Carolina rig, search for some sand crabs. I got some really small sand crabs over here. Down, down on the other side of the beach, we live way down there. Hopefully that's a good little jetty right there, a little dark line. Um, that's where the bigger sand crabs are at. So I'm struggling over here, but worst case, I'm gonna use a Berkeley goat sandworms, the red ones. Um, and the reason why I got pushed this far down the beach there's a lot of people over here early in the morning, a lot of surfers. And now, as time goes, there's going to be more and more people showing up. So, uh, this may be it, gentlemen and ladies. We'll see, though. Yellowfin croaker, another one. A little girl on the beach caught some sand crabs. She said that sweetheart he came over here. It's like, excuse me, sir teacher said that you were going fishing so we were looking for sand crabs for you and she showed me that they got sand crabs they actually got pretty good sized sand crabs and then she was like you can have the bucket i want to try to get the sand crabs out of here then i can uh, get the bucket just caught my third yellow tail i mean uh, yellow fin croaker 
from shore. So we got this one out of here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And we got these two right here. So I'm about to take this bad boy off. I think there's a school running around because as soon as I drop it in, they're like hitting it instantly. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna go for one more and then I'm gonna just throw the rest back. I'm catching this for the mother in law. We might try to eat one tonight for a catch and cook. These are actually beautiful, beautiful looking fishes. But we can't eat too many of these. Uh, the state has a warning on them, so. What's up, guys? I just caught another one. Uh, this is floating on the line right now. So I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm really in. So we just caught another yellowfin croaker. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a small guy. Very small guy, fucking around, angry. Um, these fish are actually kind of fun to uh, catch, man. They put a little fight. I mean, my rod isn't like light, it's like a medium heavy. But, um, sorry, my rod is light, it's not light, it's like a medium heavy. But when these guys are hungry, man, they hit. And from catching this to a Corbina, these things actually put up a little bit more fight than the Corbina. You know, everybody, they have a different perspective with these fish, but I'm gonna let this guy go. He's a little small. Enjoy your life, fish. As soon as I get the hook out, this one's gonna be a catch and release. So, get this hook out. And one thing is, is that I actually hooked this one with a double uh, sand crab. One was a hard shell and the other one was a soft shell. It's like, I just toss it out there and like literally a couple of seconds later, these fish are coming and gobbling everything up. So, and that's how I caught this one. So, I don't know if I'm hitting the right honey hole or whatever, but this is actually one of my best fishing days so far in like two years. And I hate to say that it's my fishing uh, pole, but my fishing pole actually plays a big part. It's a lot more sensitive than my other rod. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just happy for today. Today's a good day. So guys, I'm going to release this guy. Be free. Be free. There he goes. Oh yeah, I know he appreciates that. I'll let this little guy go. 